Hi guys. Okay, we're going to go over first the position time graph worksheet that you were hopefully did last night. So a couple things to remember. For me on my sheet, the T1 through T7 has been um, shifted over mistakenly. So I'm just going to go ahead and cross that out. And instead, what I want you to do is label the different sections of your graph where the slope changes A through F. So go ahead and pause the video and label your graph then come back to the questions. The first question says, does the mini minivan move to the east? So you'll notice that in the directions it says it initially starts moving toward the east. So yes, it does move east during which time intervals? So in my graph, it moves east during the B time interval, the C time interval, and the F time interval because those are the intervals where it has positive velocity I'm describing the slope. That's how I know what the velocity will be. Two, does the minivan move to the west? Yes, it does move to the west. It moves to the west during interval D when it comes back to its zero position. Number three, is the minivan speed between T1 and T2, so this is describing section A, greater than, less than, or equal to its speed between T2 and T3, which is describing section B. The minivan speed at A is less than, because its speed is A, at A is zero, and its speed at B is not zero, it's more than zero. Is the minivan speed between T4 and T5, which we will describe as uh, D greater than less than or equal to its speed between T6 and T7 which is F. So actually the speed at D is greater than. I know you're saying wait but the slope is negative. Yes the negative slope indicates negative velocity or direction. So the slope itself at D is steeper than the slope at F so therefore it has greater speed. Does the minivan ever stop completely? Yes, it does. It stops at A and it stops at E because that's where the slope is zero. Does the minivan ever move with a constant velocity? Yes, it moves with a constant velocity at B, at C, at D, and at F. This is where the lines are straight straight line means constant velocity. And finally, what is the total displacement of the minivan during this trip? So the, the, the total displacement delta x you find by doing x final minus x initial. Its final position at 70 is 0. So final x is 0. Its initial position before a time zero or before a is five. So zero minus five is negative five meters and that is its total displacement. Okay, so answer the questions at the end of the video and submit this video and then move on to velocity time graphs which will be your next video.